DJ Dahi has produced some of the biggest hits of this decade. I want to know why so many artists use his beats and what we can learn. Looking at Gravity by Brent Fiaz. With this sample in mind, I started with them strum guitar chords. And to create that kind of sound, you can see in the skeleton of these chords, just simple repetitive triads. Notice I have different higher and lower notes to give extra tone. I layered this with a guitar top line that was stacked with an organ. And you can notice three things about this layer. First, they are repetitive and catchy. Secondly, I've moved most notes off the grid so they're more realistic. And thirdly, I've detuned both of these layers, which gives a more authentic color. Now we've got the main sounds and the catchy rhythm. We want to add extra textures, just like in the song used. Using the exact same preset pitch jumper. And just like in Gravity, adding a rose to hit on the one of every bar. Then I wanted to add a bass the way Dahi does. This followed the same rhythm of the guitars, but with a more natural, unquantitized feeling. Notice how unnatural it sounds when you're playing it on the grid. compared to when the notes are slightly off the grid. To replicate the live drums Dahi likes to use in a beat like this, I added some very simple soul-like drums that blend with that perfect bounce. You think Dahi was done there. He likes to have bridges with different rhythms and different textures to just break the beat down. I use this arpeggiated sound from the Jupiter synth, which is Dahi's go-to. Notice how I use that portal automation. Used at the end of every two bar, it gives it a higher pitch texture that Dahi likes to use. Give it that Dahi vibe, just added this string. Moving on to the soulful sign of Dahi. With songs like A Lot and Money Trees. How many people done doubted you? A lot. Left you out to rap. A lot. Dahi is a big fan of using old soul records, so I wanted to make my own. To create that soulful sound, you want to match it with soulful chords. You can notice three things about these chords. The F is the main note that's playing throughout this sample. And when played with the note a semitone above, it gives that soulful dissonance. Second, the top line keys play quickly after each other. They give it that jazzy type of vibe. Thirdly, the same chords, but just playing with different bass tones. As Dahi mentions, it's all about textures. It's all about kind of um, the texture. So I added this top line piano with a delay. Using the same chords, I layered another key on top of that. With those layers, I have the foundations of a soulful sample. Using a Mellotron is a big staple to Dahi's production. I use it on every album or every stuff that I worked on. So I layered two sounds, one being an arp with the same chords. I did this by going into FL's arp section and making it fairly slow. And I layered this bell to counteract it.
Now the sample is starting to get some rhythm, I wanted to add a bass. And to make it sound as natural as possible, you can see I added longer and shorter notes. Throughout the soul sample Dahi uses, you hear them layered string sections. An old soulful vocal always stands out when it comes to Dahi samples, like the song Count Me Out. So I got this vocal chop from Splice to sound like this. Moving on to the drums, I found these textural sounds to just give it some weird movement. Then I added this simple two-step hi-hat with a snare, with a hard kick and a hard 808. 